الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We are in unprecedented times at the moment and it's almost towards the end of the third week of the lockdown today is Juma and many of us are feeling the emptiness of not being able to attend those congregations of Juma, the congregation in Salah, the meeting of our friends, relatives, community. But inshallah, let's think on the positive side that it won't be very long before this will be over inshallah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions in a hadith, he says, لِكُلِّ دَاءٍ دَوَاء عَلِمَهُ مَنْ عَلِمَهُ وَجَهِلَهُ مَنْ جَهِلَهُ For every illness there is a cure. Some people know it and some people don't. And with that in mind, we have full conviction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that over time, there will be some medication, there will be some cure for this, some vaccines will come out insha'Allah. So that's on the side of trying to calm us down, that insha'Allah it won't be long and things will begin to get to normal. I understand myself that not being able to go to the masjid, not being able to go outside and visit our friends, relatives or have them visiting us, it's something that as human beings we really miss out on. But again, this is for the greater good that we are in this lockdown situation. For ourselves and for the people around us as well. We have to utilize this time to get closer to our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These opportunities may never come in our life again when we can find time to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to our family members. And some of the ways that we can get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and build that connection or if we have that connection to make it even stronger is firstly through Salah. We are to complete our five times Farad Salah but also let's see if we can carry on with the Nawafil with the Tahajjud with the Awabin with the Ishraq and the second thing that we can utilize this time is through Salah through recitation of Quran let's see if we can recite as much Quran -e Kareem as possible but one step further, let's see if we can recite it but also understand what our Creator is wanting to tell us, what He's asking us to do. Thirdly, utilize this time by performing the dhikr of Allah. This is the way we can connect with our Creator and we can make that connection even stronger. And with the creation, although we may be in lockdown situations, but please don't think that we are in isolation. With this technology that we have, we can contact anybody wherever we are throughout the world. It's important for us in these times that we keep in contact through phone or through video calling. Think about family members. Keep in contact with them friends, relatives, neighbours, those people who may be vulnerable, these are the times when we've got to think about those. So the two connections that we've got to maintain, increase and make them stronger. Firstly, our connection with the Creator and secondly, our connection with the people, with the creation. But again, I finish off with the message that I started off with is let's listen to those who are experienced in this field 
who have expertise, who have spent many decades of their life in medicine, in scientific research. Their advice is paramount, is important for us. According to their advice and following their advice, inshallah, we will fight this virus, we will get through it. And one day, we will inshallah soon have everything back to normal. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.